uh, this month is going to be a month of covenantal blessing a month of covenantal blessing hallelujah i believe this month the lord is going to increase our faith maybe you are thinking you know uh, i am alone pastor i am alone uh, there is nobody with me maybe i am very unique i am i am the only person and i i tell you if god is calling you alone he is drawing you alone he is separating you alone then the lord is going to do something powerful in your life amen god has a great plan for your life my dear friend and as you heed to his call as you heed to his voice just step out in faith this month the lord wants to encounter you individually meet up with you individually and he is going to fulfill the covenant blessing that he wants to give to you amen hello friends shalom 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 praise the lord it is wonderful to yet again meet you through this promise of this month which god has brought us into the month of may i believe that this month that we are entering into it's very significant and we thank god for all the amazing grace that he provided us for the past four months and now he has brought us into the fifth month amen number 5 which is an amazing number which signifies the grace of god amen so therefore even as we enter into the month of may which is the fifth month i believe what god is going to give to us and speak to us is going to really thrill us empower us and bring us one step closer to him amen so i believe uh, my heart is full of uh, joy and uh, thrill to even bring this word to you you know so marvelous every time when we come to the word of god he is our comforter he is our provider he is the one who speaks to us heart to heart and reveal himself to us and i believe and this promise will speak to you in the same manner for this month the lord has given us the promise uh, from the book of isaiah uh, chapter 51 verse 2 isaiah chapter 51 verse 2 and the lord says look to abraham your father and to sarah who bore you for i called him alone and blessed him and increased him look to abraham your father and to sarah who bore you for i called him alone and blessed him and increased him what an amazing promise the lord spoke to me uh, through this verse and uh, he told me this is the promise for this month and uh, i believe uh, this month is going to be a month of covenantal blessing a month of covenantal blessing hallelujah and i believe there is going to be a tremendous uh, revelation through this word even as we are going to meditate on the scriptures praise the lord hallelujah the word of god says look to abraham the first thing that the lord said when concerning this promise is look to abraham you know think about this look to abraham your father and sarah who bore you uh, uh, the lord said look uh, to them for what because they were the father of faith think about abraham he was the father of faith so therefore the lord prompted me in my heart so we are to look in faith towards god and this month throughout this month i believe you will look to him in faith for all the things concerning your life concerning your family concerning the relationship concerning the challenge or the uh, the troubles that you may uh, th- that you may be faced with but i tell you the lord is going to build up your faith and he is going to increase your faith because the next uh, phrase says that so the first thing that the lord wants to do uh, and speak to us is look in faith because abraham was a symbol of faith and look at sara sara was a symbol of miracle isn't it when she was 99 years old she bore uh, the child and what a amazing miracle that god performed through her and the whole generation is blessed so therefore i believe this month uh, the lord is going to increase our faith increase our faith and uh, the second thing that the lord wants to uh, tell us is basically the word of god which says for i called him alone i called him alone god called abraham alone think about that maybe you are thinking you know uh, i am alone pastor i am alone 
uh, there is nobody with me maybe i am very unique i am i am the only person and i i tell you if god is calling you alone he is drawing you alone he is separating you alone then the lord is going to do something powerful in your life amen don't take it as rejection because god wants to do some individual work in you he wants to do a, a perfect uh, you know separated work in you so that's why he is calling you alone as he called abraham out of his uh, country out of his hometown and he said i am going to bring you to the promised land he is calling you and he is going to separate you he is going to do something in your life that is very unique and he wants to fulfill the promise and the great plan that he has for you not only to you but through you whatever that he wants to do for the generation that you are in amen maybe it is your it's your family maybe it is your community maybe it is your country and whatever it is god has a great plan for your life my dear friend and as you heed to his call as you heed to his voice just step out in faith step out in faith that needs you to look upon to him in faith so that's why the word of god says look to him look uh, look to abraham because uh, even the scripture is appearing in romans chapter 4 uh, okay i will talk to you in detail later but this is a very profound a passage when concerning abraham he was a man of faith and he was called uh, alone by god thirdly he says when he called him alone he did not leave him alone like that but i tell you the god was with him amen and he says and blessed him if he is going to call you alone he is going to bless you and he is going to increase you that's what he did with our father abraham and sarah and he blessed him and increased him i believe that is the greatest uh, uh, that is the greatest blessing that god has for every children of his he wants to increase he wants to increase the children he wants to uh, bring blessing to the children uh, look at verse 3 in 51 uh, for the lord will comfort zion he will comfort all her waste places he will make her wilderness like eden and her desert like the garden of the lord joy and gladness will be found in it thanksgiving and the voices of melody hallelujah and this is talking about the restoration of the covenant blessing that god gave to abraham my dear friend i te- i tell you this is going to be a tremendous month of uh, a covenantal blessing fulfilled in your life today my question is what has the lord spoken in your heart what has the lord has uh, uh, individually dealt with you and encountered you and spoken to you i am telling you this month the lord wants to encounter you individually meet up with you individually and he is going to fulfill the covenant blessing that he wants to give to you amen hallelujah do you believe with me and i be- i believe if you believe with me we are going to make a prayer and we are going to appropriate this blessing because there is a tremendous blessing in his covenant and he has made a new covenant this is talking about the old covenant he made with abraham but you and i are partakers of the new covenant and a new and an everlasting covenant think about that and he is going to do a tremendous work in you and through you in this month and he is going to fulfill all the all the desires and the blessings that he has promised you and that is what i want to tell you and close in prayer if you believe with me would you uh, bow down your heads close your eyes and pray with me father we praise you we thank you for this amazing promise that you are giving us lord yes god indeed you are asking us to look up to you in faith as abraham looked up to you in faith and you are asking us to follow the example of abraham the father of faith lord we come to you in faith looking up to you and god you are a god who called us alone you called us as individual you called us as families and lord you brought us out of the places that we were in out of the country out of the continent out of the families that we were in but lord now you said you are going to individually encounter us individually meet us with us and father god you are going to bring this uh, tremendous covenant blessing of increase and blessings of abraham father we believe that that everyone who is under the breath of my voice who is listening and placing their faith in you and in your word i pray that this covenantal blessing that will come forth like a flood gate that is opened up father god i pray that every areas of their life in every circumstances of their life they will 
see this this mighty blessing overtaking them father god i pray this covenantal promise come alive and what was dead what was seems to be lost what was gone by lord it is going to come into life resurrected life father we thank you because your resurrection power is in us and i believe that god this month it's going to be some new encounter and a new miracle and a and a branded work in the lives of your children who believe in you father god we thank you and i also i pray that everyone who is calling upon your name father they will be saved and they will come into the newness of the life that you're giving to them we praise you we thank you and our our mouths will open and sing in joy even as the scripture says every wilderness be gone our 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 paths will be uh, will blossom with beautiful flowers father god and thank you for this blessing of covenant that you are reminding us we praise you we give you glory in jesus mighty name we pray and the people of god said amen and amen god bless you i really uh, believe that as you prayed in belief that the uh, blessings and the increase will unfold in your life amen god bless you